Hello, peoples of the internet. And Sparta. This is Revisit. The show where I basically admit my mistakes and try again. This week I will be revisiting episode 8, uh, the Matryoshka doll. And so I'll be giving it another go, and then hopefully it will be better quality this time. Yes, and not as um, ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, uh, oh, yeah, uh, better. Mm. Alright. Let's, let's go. On a snowy winter's morning in 1975, Sergeant Jackram so called for his enthusiasm for all things military, and not an actual military rank, uh, entered the customs office at the New York City docks, along with his three subordinates. Now for the beginning part, or well, the first part of the day at least, uh, it was pretty much business as usual, with the four operatives checking shipments for the suspicious Matryoshka dolls, as they had been tasked to do by the CIA. I mean, you never know when the evil Soviets will try to smuggle something into the country. And, well, the Matryoshka dolls were the perfect way to do just that. Or at least that's how they felt. That's how they felt about things. Hmm. Yes. Okay. In any case, now, Sergeant Jackram, a four, five, yeah, a five foot three, forty year old man, was as stern and operative as they came. A straight arrow, by all accounts, and not one to tolerate any tomfoolery. So much so, he now managed to get himself the nickname of Sergeant No Rum. I mean, in, into addition, of his nickname, Sergeant Jackram. Yes. Um, you know, this was an obvious pun on his name, of course. But, um, yeah, this was not without a sense of irony. For you see, our dear Sergeant Jackram uh, rather enjoyed rum. Though, of course, never in, ex never in excess, though. Hmm. Yes. All right. Now, in the 15 years Sergeant Jackram had served in the Madryoshka doll surveillance unit of the CIA, Never once had he happened upon any contraband or malicious materials hidden in, inside said dolls. However, he remained vigilant, ever watchful, ever wary. Uh, he, he knew that one of these days he was going to find something. And, as is often the case with paranoia, he was bound to find something eventually. And find it he did. Now, it was at around lunchtime that the four operatives discovered that a shipment of Madryoshka dolls had come in. Four cargo containers simply marked dolls. Now this was an obvious malicious attempt at deception, of course, and demanded an immediate search. However, there was a problem. The intended recipient of the said shipment uh, was due to pick up the shipment at the end of the day, uh, which put the operation at serious risk of being discovered. So Sergeant Jackram did the unexpected. Instead of conducting the search in pairs as policy demanded, he split the group up and uh, assigned each agent his own container to search. And so the stage was set, with the four operatives being confined to working in seclusion. And no sooner had they started or the clock struck 4.32 p.m., a time Jackram noted well, for it was when he made his discovery. I mean, at that point, He'd been searching dolls for hours now, opening them up, unstacking them, and restacking them, and frankly put, he was becoming sick of it. But just as he was about to lose hope, that's when he stumbled upon a particularly large doll. Exceptionally large, in fact. Um, so much so, he had quite some difficulty opening it up. But he knew that this was it. His dark mood turned to elation as he started to run through all the fantasies he'd played out for in his own mind over the years. You know, oh, all the medals he'd win and the silent praise he would receive from his colleagues. You know, and that, that anonymous figure handing him a medal from the shadows of a darkened room saying, Your country owes you a debt of gratitude, Agent Jackram. Ah, oh, all these fantasies culminated into a large grin on his face. Only one more iteration, he thought, as he lifted one more half free from the myriad of iterations that had preceded it. But alas, no. Not yet. All he found was another stark painted face staring back at him. But he pressed on. He went through one, two, 
three more iterations, and then, there he found it. But what he found took him by complete surprise, for it was not anything he'd ever imagined to find. Not in his wildest imaginations did he picture the sight he saw. I mean, granted, he imagined this great deal of things, you know, guns, bombs, even spying equipment, to mention but a few. He even once imagined to find a disease-ridden animal, one specially bred and trained to spread a lethal contagion amongst the American populace. Of course, he intercepted this animal and, unfortunately, died valiantly for his country, but he saved the day nonetheless. But no, what he found was not any of these objects of lethality, no. What he found instead was a damsel. Golden hair cascaded down her face, beautifully framing her blue eyes and fine features. Her very countenance beamed, help me, as she looked at him. For a moment, Jackram just stared at the girl, debating whether to take her into custody or to take her home. I mean, not for anything inappropriate, of course, but I mean she clearly needed a place to stay. <coughs> but anyway, in that moment, a war raged in his heart, between his conviction and his compassion. However, his determination failed him, and his doubt won the day. So he just simply dropped his gaze to the floor in surrender. And the damsel, well, she just walked past him and disappeared into the winter snow. Jackram lingered a while, then restacked the large doll and exited the container. He knew he wasn't going to find anything more that day. So the years passed on by, and Jackram finally retired. He never did find out what happened to her, by the way. I mean, there was one account of a spy ring that was exposed that uh, involved a blonde woman. But any correlation this woman had with his mother, Gershkadal, was pure coincidence, obviously. And so Jackram spent the last of his years sitting by a fire at 4.32 p.m., uh, with a rum and coke in one hand and a Madryoshka doll on the table beside him. He would open that doll and stack it and restack it, always hoping to find something new. But he never did. Okay, well that's it. Thank you for watching. I certainly hope you enjoyed it, and that it was enjoyable. I did. Uh, I definitely had my fair share of frustrations with this, hence the few weeks it took me to actually get this out to you. Um, this will also be the last in the series of Story Roulette for a while, um, but I definitely have a lot more stuff coming, like, you know, the Adventures of Bob and a few more random videos, um, like little skits and things, and I hope you stick around for those. I definitely, I definitely hope I, well, I would definitely enjoy doing those kinds of things, and I hope you enjoy them too. I hope you enjoyed the series, and uh, yeah, I will see you all soon. Uh, until then, have a good one.